As the unmanned surface vessel Ranger was roaming the seas in September of 2021, her missile launcher suddenly stirred from inside its container and launched an M6 missile into the sky, proving that the commercial hull could be transformed into an operational, advanced technology warship. The development was part of the Ghost Fleet Overlord program, a joint effort between the U.S. Navy and the Secretary of Defense Strategic Capabilities Office that had been experimenting with unmanned ships controlled entirely from the ground for years. Still, the significant milestone promises to change the balance of combat entirely. With autonomous and weaponized ships underway, unexplored limits within international agreements will need to be defined and tested, paving the way for armed conflicts at sea that could soon reach new and dangerous heights. Milestones. The Ghost Fleet Overlord program dates back to at least 2017 and is a joint initiative of the Secretary of Defense Strategic Capabilities Office, or SCO, and the U.S. Navy. In 2021, the program finally succeeded in not only conducting a long-range autonomous transit with an unmanned surface vessel, or USV, but actually launching a missile from the ghost ship. The first vessel, named Ranger, completed the first remote-controlled transit in October of 2020 when it was manually operated through the Panama Canal. Then, a few months later, her sister Nomad traveled 4,421 nautical miles in a similar fashion, 98% autonomously. Nomad's transit, the second experiment conducted by the SCO, provided key insights into vessel endurance and autonomous operations. It also delved into the interoperability of government command, control, communications, computers and intelligence systems with vendor autonomy, hull mechanical, and hull electrical systems. Luis Molina, deputy director of SCO, said of the program, quote, The command and control systems were able to provide a mission plan, which consists of a scheme of maneuver, and the system calculates the course and speed to complete those missions. The system reacts to the contact that it encounters along the way, and replans and reprioritizes how to achieve those objectives. Mission Command was remote, operated by the U.S. Navy from an unmanned operations center on shore. Both Nomad and Ranger would continue performing fleet experimentation exercises after the significant milestone to mature autonomous systems and demonstrate system reliability. Furthermore, it was vital to explore employment concepts in relation to coordinated operations with manned combatants, taking into account the command and control systems. SCO Director Jay Dreyer said at the time, quote, this is another significant milestone for SCO's Ghost Fleet Overlord program and supports the Navy's unmanned campaign framework by adding a second Overlord vessel to the West Coast. The SCO Ghost Fleet Overlord program serves to inform Navy prototype efforts by integrating mature technologies to accelerate service priorities and is a key piece of the build a little, test a little, and learn a lot philosophy articulated in the Navy unmanned campaign framework. System Integration As Nomad and Ranger provided key system data, fleet operator feedback, and other essential concepts for optimal operation, the Ghost Fleet Overlord program fulfilled its purpose to move ahead with a second phase. Starting in September of 2019, the program focused on integrating government-furnished command and control systems and payloads in more complex and challenging naval operations. Both phases were conducted by the same vessels and industry teams, but it was clarified that further experimentation would be passed on to the Navy. The SCO's program, developed in partnership with the Program Executive Office Unmanned and Small Combatants, was crucial in creating new classes of USVs while helping reduce the risk factor. Medium-sized demonstrators Sea Hunter and Sea Hawk paved the way for their larger counterparts. As proven by the successful trials, both Ghost Fleet ships became a testbed to demonstrate how effectively large autonomous ships could operate at sea, getting closer to entirely unmanned operations. Several experiments are still carried out as part of the Navy's large USV program, and it is planned that large unmanned surface vehicles will operate as auxiliary missile magazines for guided missile combatants and netted into the tactical data network for the fleet. Navy program manager Captain Pete Small clarified, quote, That's been part of the work, 
adapting Navy program of record navigation systems aboard to complement existing commercial systems that operate with the autonomy and the government furnished navigation systems are key to security, but also to the operations of potential payloads and other systems that could be integrated into the prototypes in the future. If the ships are to operate as weapon platforms, there are significant efficiency and security implications yet to be tested. The Navy is in the process of loading the hulls with specialized systems so that they can be tied with existing combat systems and data links. However, this concept incorporates a human in the decision loop to take the ultimate firing step. Small added, quote, Any weapons control is executed by a human operator at the remote control node, whether that be shore-based or sea-based. The captain also emphasized the importance of robust and encrypted communications within the operations, including the human factor, quote, Command and control is paramount, and we're working to deliver that. Based on their previous success, the Navy carried on with combined Atlantic and Pacific exercises, and they planned to buy two more Overlord hulls for $80 million. While not much more was disclosed, the partner companies involved will probably be Gibson Cox and L3 ASV Global, which participated in the conversion of Nomad and Ranger in 2018. However, the program took a decisive step a few months later. True Autonomy In early September 2021, the Department of Defense published a video showing its advances in the Overlord program. In it, the unmanned Ranger could be seen successfully firing an SM-6 missile. The former fast supply ship, used regularly for deliveries to oil rigs, was repurposed in a way that promised a new horizon for maritime warfare. However, it is hard to assess in the video if Ranger really had no crew on board. In plain sight, her radars spin normally and her hull cruises the waves as usual. Then the missile launcher stirs from inside its container. Swiftly, the ship raises the weapon, and the explosive hurls into the sky. The observer will then notice that there is not a single soul behind the windows on the bridge. Not unlike sailors, the Navy's new robot ships will abide by the Law of the Seas Convention of the UN's set of rules for peaceful maritime travel. While sailors must know and understand these rules, robots must be coded to operate within the international frame. Notably, firing missiles is not within the scope of peaceful oceanic transit. Nevertheless, it is crucial that human remote operators revise the command links and confirm that they are secure, timely, and accurate. The ship first had to prove that she could launch a missile, but it is even more important that the robot actually hits the target. The focus will now be on human intervention in terms of approving and declining the robot selections and mitigating error. Like C. Todd Lopez of DoD News wrote, quote, Autonomy includes more than just straight-line passage through large areas of the ocean. It also involves such things as collision avoidance and following the rules of the sea. The integration of sensors and missile launchers, plus the communications with off-ship human overseers, will be the next objective of the Overlord program, which will finish its second phase in early 2022 and be overtaken by the Navy, including the upcoming original prototypes. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to all of our Dark Documentaries channels and hit the bell icon to get notified of our newest content.